Okay, this is an overview of the Fourscore app, the second in a three-part series. Um, the first video goes over how to import the music into the app. And this video is going to go over all the like kind of like main functions that I use on a regular basis, and it's, it's supposed to be kind of like a quick overview for you. So the first thing I wanted to show you is the navigation. Um, if you click in the middle, it'll toggle between the full screen view and showing you that navigation bar at the top. If you click on the right, it'll go to the next page. This is assuming you're in a set list or you have a multi-page song. Um, and then if you click on the left, it goes to the previous page. So also, there's two other ways to go down and up. If you swipe left, it'll go to the next page. And if you swipe up, it'll go to the next page. If you swipe down, it goes to the previous page. Or if you swipe right, it goes to the previous page. So I typically use a swipe instead of a tap because sometimes your tap might be slightly, a little bit of a swipe, in which case then you wind up going backwards when you meant to go forward. So I just use the swipe just to be safe. Personally, that's how I use it. So the first thing I wanted to show you after that navigation is how to create a set list. So first you need to pull up the nav bar at the top and then click on the menu, which is the three lines. And you'll see I already have one here created. So just click the back uh, set list and then uh, click on the plus and you can just name it whatever you want and click create and that's your set list. To add music just click the plus and then once you click that um, now you won't see the search bar at the top right away you have to actually pull that down and then it's sort of hidden then you can um, search for whatever you are looking for. So I'm just going to add a few tunes here, same tune, <laughs> click done when you're adding it and then it'll appear right here in the top left. You can just click on the first one and it'll take you to that set list. Now what's really cool is that you can actually share that set list with all the PDFs with other people, whether they have four score or not. It's very cool. So to do the sharing, I'm going to show that to you now. I'm going to go back to the navgar, excuse me, navigation bar and then click on the set list back button. And uh, it's sorted in the order that I created it. Now I can sort by title if I want by clicking the title there, but I just have it in manual order and the latest one is at the bottom. So um, that's my set list, that's where it's located. And then if you click edit, and then you click on the circle next to the set list, and then click share, then you can choose how you wanna save it. Um, if you take, if you, excuse me, click the text list, then it'll just share the um, list of the tunes. Um, set list only is going to share the basically the link of all the music, but not the actual scores. Include scores that includes all the PDFs with the set list. Um, merged PDF is going to be, or let me I skipped one. Include scores and extras is going to be the um, all the set list, the, all the PDFs that come with it, plus any annotations that you have maybe added to it. And then um, merged PDF is one long file. An annotated merged PDF is one long file with all your annotations. So usually I select include scores and extras. And then if, you're, um, if you have AirDrop set up, um, I'm gonna go ahead and share that with my phone. So I just sent it over to my phone. My phone receives a message and it says um, duplicate scores. And that's basically, um, I've shared it over to another device, and if it's if it already has the scores, then it has to you have to click on the other device whether you want to replace the original scores, or if you want to um, have two versions of duplicates. So that's pretty cool to be able to share your entire set list. So if you're a band leader, you run a wedding band, you have somebody subbing in on the piano, and you have all your sheet music in a set list, with a, just a few clicks, you can share your whole library. I do this all the time. All right, so that's cool. Uh, so let me show you now a little bit more about that navigation bar at the top. So uh, the first thing I want to show you is about the page turns. If you click on this half with a circle around it, that will allow you to do half page turns. So you can see there's like the top half of the next page and the bottom half of the previous page. And if you click on that and drag it, you can set it up to turn wherever you want. And it's only for that particular uh, sheet. So you can have different turn locations on every song. So that's pretty cool. Um, now I'm gonna also show you about the title. If I click on the title here, 
I can change the title. Just I have to select the area to the right of the word title and then click on the X and then I can type in a new title. Um, also, I wanted to show you that if you click on the box of the arrow, that's going to be sharing that particular PDF. So just click on that and then click the PDF or if you want, you can share it as a four score file. That's 4SC or you can share it as an annotated PDF, which is the PDF with all the annotations on it, all of the markups. So if I click PDF, once again, it takes me to this. You can share it by Gmail or whatever app you want to share it to, but you can also share it to phone um, or to, sorry, to somebody else, like another device that you might have. Um, clicking back again in the title, and now I'm going to click to the circle, on the circle to the right of the title. And um, if you click on the circle with the um, pencil, then you'll go into annotations. Um, I'm going to click done. If you hold down your finger for a long time, it'll also pull up annotations. Or you can also click on the um, briefcase in the top right and click annotate. Oh, I forgot to show you how to search for a score. You just click on the search. I don't know if you saw that, but there's a little magnifier glass right there. And then you can just uh, go ahead and click on, you can find what you're looking for. Now, I'm out of my set list, by the way, when you do that. Um, so I have to go back to my set list if I want to go back into that. Okay, so that was searching. Um, now I'm going into annotations. So I'm going to click on this circle with the pencil. And um, you just... Uh, you can click on this T that's for text and you can type text just click anywhere and first you have to type then you have to click done and then you have to move it where you want it and you can um, elongate it or you can shorten it however you'd like now if you click on this yellow circle it gives you a highlighter and I do that a lot for all my repeat signs um, and for any kind of changes um, if you click on the thick black line, then it'll bring you into your big line and I can just make a big, you know, notation if I want. <laughs> um, I can draw during rehearsal. Oops, sorry, you didn't hear that. Um, <laughs> uh, if you click on this note here in the t bottom left, or sorry, top left corner and then um, expand it out or you can make it smaller by clicking on the arrow there. Uh, you can scroll through and add all kinds of different things. Um, for example, let's say I wanted to add a quarter note, uh, so select what you want to add. Then you're going to click and hold down on your score where you want to add it. Now my finger is actually um, selecting the measure below. It's about an inch and a half or like an inch lower So um, and zoomed in, so I'm at that C major 7. So I'm just going to um, place it right there, but you can um, put it wherever you want. You just have to um, keep in mind that the zoomed in portion is not right above the area that you're click is not the is where you're selecting not where it's located um, so to get out of that menu because if, if I keep clicking it's going to keep adding notes so I have to get out of that menu by selecting the note again um, and I can add a tie here and I can also add a red line and a blue line and a black line and a white line um, and that actually erases <laughs> Um, you can also use the eraser, and that'll erase your annotations. Um, also, if you click the X, then that will clear everything. Um, and you can undo and redo as well. All right, so those are the annotations. If you have multiple pages, you can click Next Page. Um, the only thing I've found that's kind of an issue with this is that sometimes the top music gets cut off. So this is just a heads up that if you need to write above like where this is, um, I'm going to click done. You'll see I can move my finger up there and I can, I can write up there, but I can't see what I'm doing, you know, above the annotations, above that nav bar. So that's just kind of like one thing you have to get used to. So sometimes what I'll have to do is I'll have to um, type some text and then I'll move it up as high as I can and I'll just try to guess where it is. Um, but that's, that, that's the annotations. Um, I wanted to draw your attention to one other thing here. Um, this circle with the three three little rectangles in it, that's called Q. And uh, I'm going to create another video on how to use that. Basically, that'll allow you to share your music across, your, uh, or across multiple devices and follow page turns as well as pull up new tunes. So if you're a band leader and you have a set and you want to make a change, 
um, you can have your page turns projected. So I think that's pretty cool, but I'll go over that in another video. Um, so that's about it. Um, there's some other cool things in here. Um, the piano pulls up a keyboard, which you can use. Um, you have to click done to get out of it. Um, you can record audio by clicking the record here. Um, and then it'll set it up for you to record some audio to go with your music. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of really cool things. I just wanted to go over those basic things first. And then we'll do um, a little bit more advanced tutorial in the third video on how to turn 